Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. This is somewhat of a boring video. It's about comments and how Python deals with white space, but it is something you should know and should utilize if you want to become a good programmer. But if you're just programming your own stuff, comments, I rarely worry about. But in the professional world, you're going to need to put comments in your code. Okay, so let me get a new file going so click on file new file now we have this python uh, empty file right here and I'm just gonna save it as comments comments dot py and I'll overwrite that okay so what is a comment pretty much to write a single line comment we're gonna use the pound sign and then anything on this line we can write whatever we want. Uh, you're going to want to write your uh, native language. Mine is English, so I'm going to want to write English sentence or so describing a certain part of the program that I'm working on. So sometimes you're in a certain mindset and you need to write down your, your, uh, your thinking behind what's going on because you can code something up that's a masterpiece and come back to it a year or two later and not understand anything about what's going on and you can't get back into that mindset so it's really good as a reminder and then in the professional world when you're designing stuff you're going to be with a lot of coworkers and uh, a lot of times code needs to be maintained you know I think the figures like 90 percent of the time developing its 10 percent maintaining its 90 percent so there's a good chance that some other programmers going to need to look at that code and figure out what's going on and if he has comments uh, guiding him on what is going on that will help the company out and the process out a lot better so I'm just going to comment um, this prints hello to screen okay and then below that I'll write the, the method that does that so print hello alright and to do a multi-line comment what we're going to want to do is we'll do three quotation marks like this and just say hey this is multi line comment okay then we can end it with the same amount all right so now none of that is going to be run okay so we can save this right now with control s and now this is saved that was a shortcut and we can run this in the module. So run module. And the shortcut looks like F5. So right now it says hello. Let's go back to this. And now I can talk a little bit about white space. But notice that this and this did not get printed out. Only this print hello. So white space pretty much is at the end of this little statement right here. Anything after that up until the next line of code is white space. The comments are pretty much... Uh, thought of as white space I guess you could say because the the interpreter doesn't read it it just sees it as a comment and it's like okay I'm gonna ignore you until I get to the end of that comment thing and then I'll start looking at the code again so let's go down here and I'm just gonna print um, 5 plus 5 to the screen and even though it's pretty far apart they'll still print uh, one line the 10 should be printed one line below hello even if I go like that so Python interpreter will ignore all of this white space even though intuitively it looks like maybe it should print hello up here and 10 down there it won't it will run it uh, hello then 10 right below it so let me control s save that hopefully it worked and let's run that in the module run module hello 10 so there you go there's a lesson on comments and white space please use your comments I know they're annoying and I know this is probably a really boring video but it will become helpful in your professional career if that's just what you decide to do so please like this video if you liked it please uh, comment on it please subscribe below tell your friends whatever you gotta do and more videos are to come thank you guys for watching